Hello, my gorgeous Leos. So welcome to your monthly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energies can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have two of spring with two of summer. You know, I kind of see some mirroring uh, due to the, the parrots here, like some mimicry going on. It almost feels like someone is two steps ahead of the other. Uh, you both are going in the same direction here, but one just can't quite keep up uh, with the other. I feel like this intensity that they keep trying or trying and um, something falls through. I feel you leaving me behind and I replay our conversations over and over. Yeah, someone's feeling like uh, they just can't keep up. Uh, that maybe things are not quite what they seem. Overall energy we have, Ten of Wands. This is about having the weight of the world on your shoulder here. But for this reading, I see already that someone's having a hard time again. Um, dealing with some burdens here, keeping up in a situation. Or being able to get to a solution here. Just taking on too much. So for your energy, we have justice, the sun, and the three of cups. Something's owed to you here. This is fantastic. To get the justice in the sun card, it means that positivity is on the way. And things are going to change where you feel joyful. You feel happy. You feel as if everything is like finally lining up. Everything's falling into place. It is that feeling of, yeah, God's on my side here, and I love this. It is a blessing uh, for you, because I see even with the Sun, Three of Cups, it felt like too much going on here in the past, possibly overwhelming as well. We have the Two of Wands and the Tower. Yeah, something suddenly shifted that made you feel uh, like things became very clear here, enlightenment, but also that everything was not going to be the same as it once was. And that was a devastation for you. It feels like, you know, you really tried to keep up or stay in a situation, but it just wasn't working out. For their energy, we have Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands, the Chariot, and the Empress card. Yeah, they have a lot of feelings and emotions that they're just so confused by. They're having a hard time addressing them and trying to figure out what to do with them. Because the Seven of Wands chariots, they're ready to stand up for themselves, but at the same time, they're going in two different directions. It really does feel like this person is frustrated because they can't quite keep up here. It's almost like they feel as if they're not doing too much or as much or um, something has fallen through where they thought they would have the opportunity to offer you something here or be able to make this long term but it's all it all fell on their shoulders and they feel now very disappointed tell me the empress card ace of pentacles nine of pentacles and the hanged man yeah they feel like they lost uh something in their life that was truly valuable here and it is this connection it's something that they realize now they kind of have to surrender to fate. Although they keep trying here, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, they really try their hardest to keep things going in their life, to kind of uh, have you in mind manifesting something here that's really going to uh, make them happy and it's going to bring you both together. But they're suffering because they keep going back and forth. Their manifestation it keeps stopping here because they dwell on the negative and they stay there for too long because they feel like they're trying to always get two steps ahead here and really surprise you or um, show you that they are somebody that is different than what you think. There is this frustration because they feel like they're trying really hard. They're trying to get ahead of the game. They do feel that possibly they're losing you here or you are moving on. But with the hanged man, they have to surrender to fate, have to allow things to work its course. There's just this frustration that they feel like they should be able to achieve something here. There's something they're planning and on their mind that they feel like is just not working out. 
Fool and the Six of Swords. Yeah, something they took a risk on here that you are unaware of. Something that they've done. Okay, let's see the past. Let's get some more details. We have the Temperance. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the Three of Wands. Very slow moving uh, connection or situation because it shows that in both your environments, um, you were very patient with this person and they were slow moving. Knight of Pentacles, they did offer you something. You both were um, feeling the same way and what they were offering you here is commitment or um, both of you really trying hard to work together, uh, possibly as a team. But I see they split in a different direction here. Because Knight of Wands, Three of Wands, it's like their focus was more. Let me go get this. This will bring me abundance. I must go after that. Or this person's just really feeling like their focus on love uh, doesn't have to be there because they already have you. And it's taking you for granted, basically. Tell me the Knight of Pentacles. Six of Cups, Judgment. Yeah, they feel like they already have you. Uh, during this whole situation, they really feel like, okay, it doesn't really matter what my Leo uh, needs from me because right now I'm on the grind. I'm going to focus. Possibly they're working a lot or they're always seeking the next adventure uh, to better their life uh, in the material realm. But with Temperance card, it's like you knew that this person has a flighty personality or they're spontaneous here, uh, have lots of ideas. You could feel like they're all over the map at times, but they were taking you for granted because they really thought that this love could be endured and that you would always stay around even if they didn't talk to you as much, even if they didn't give you anything. Uh, tell the Six of Cups. King of Wands, Emperor, Seven of Swords. Yes, their ego was at play here. They got too cocky, it looks like. Um, it really looks like that they bullied you in the situation to make you feel like you couldn't leave even um, because you had invested so much that they were so important and so on a pedestal that you wouldn't want to lose them. This was their method here, a strategy to keep you in this. And they thought they had you hook, line, and sinker. But then they were shocked because they realized that you weren't trying to overdo anymore or do so much for them. You started to match their energy. And since they weren't reciprocating, you weren't giving them the same that you were in the past. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, Hermits, Star, Three of Swords. Yeah, there's a lot of distance here. Some of them have created this distance by uh, setting boundaries, pushing you away, them seeking out other things or focus here. But for others of you, this is a third party, three of swords, star. They had a lot of stuff going on. They started to detach here because they felt like, okay, they will be there. I can always come back around or I can explain myself, uh, hermit. I'll figure out a new way or what to say to them because they have a good heart and they, they're so passionate about me. They, they care so much. So uh, I'll let them just kind of sit there a little bit longer. It looks like time went on and they let it sit for too long. Uh, and it looks like that they were scared to really return because they felt like you were uh, on your way out the door, that maybe you don't feel the same way that you do about them. Tell with the Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Wands, High Priestess and the Lovers. Yeah, it was difficult, very stressful for you. Uh, you stayed in as long as you could, but it felt like this last time that they departed here, some of them without even telling you how they feel about you was just enough. They overstepped and you couldn't keep doing this uh, ring around the rosy type of situation here. Uh, over and over again where you're constantly feeling emotionally depleted and stressed out because they were just inconsistent. Um, the lack of care and focus on how you feel and this connection as a whole was just devastating. For what they're about to do next, the moon, king of cups, page of wands, and the king of pentacles. Someone's finally making the jump, actually going two steps forward here 
to do something completely out of their character. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to find out exactly what this is, what they're going to say as they move forward here, the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.